I have to ask, Avengers Endgame, is that also your guys' Marvel Endgame? Is there a world in which you come back? Or what, what superhero story would you want to tell next? Maybe one that's unheard of. I mean, I think, look, we, we, we prioritize uh, quality of life as much as we prioritize quality of work. And Mar Marvel is a very high in quality of life. It's a wonderful group of people. Had an incredible experience there for almost a decade. So we would work with them again in a heartbeat. It is, as you say, finding the right story. What is the story that we feel compelled to tell that lines up with the story that they want to tell? And who are the characters involved in that story? And what's unique about it and different? And um, so, you know, there's a lot that goes into that. Uh, and it could take years to, um, to do that correctly, to dream that up correctly. Um, um, so, you know, we, we'd never uh, dismiss uh, um, or forego an opportunity to work with Marvel. It just has to line up with where we are in our careers and where they're at. Sometimes I feel like I've already seen everything that's going to happen. And it's a nightmare. The audience is going to see Tom uh, in this movie, Cherry, in a way they're not used to seeing him. They're kind of used to this Peter Parker guy. So pretend I didn't see the movie. Tell me what I'm in store for. <laughs> I think this is, you know, this is Tom Holland in his first adult role. You know, I think this is a, a transition for him as an actor and he's exceptional in it. Look, there's tough material in the movie. There's triggering material in the film. This is meant to be an unflinching portrait of, uh, of drug addiction. Uh, and, uh, and Tom, uh, um, you know, physically and emotionally shredded himself for the part. Yeah, yeah, I was just, I was talking to him earlier and he said, you like to exaggerate it to 30 pounds, but it was really 27 and a half pounds. Did it take any convincing to to get Tom on board? I imagine when you guys sign on to something, any, anybody in their right mind is gonna say yes, but did it take any convincing to get Tom to play this character? Because he makes so many bad choices, but we still root for this guy, man, from first frame to last frame. I love that you pointed that out about Tom, because that, that is so Tom, he was like, you. He will not indulge any kind of overstatement whatsoever. He's very, <laughs> he's very humble. He's very, very direct. Um, you know, look, we developed a very deep relationship with Tom over the years. As you can imagine, you know, casting him as a Spider-Man was a very involved process. There was hundreds of actors. It was, it was a difficult role to cast. But once we saw Tom audition, we recognized something in him that we really responded to strongly. And we began working with him intensely from that moment on first to get him the role, and then over the course of three films of Spider-Man. And multiple years, you know, we developed a very deep working relationship with him. He has a really sophisticated understanding of us, who we are as people, who we are as artists. We have a very sophisticated understanding of who he is as an artist and a person. And I think that there's a high level of trust between us. And also we share a, we share a, we share a similar sort of inclination toward pushing ourselves uh, into areas that make us, uh, into unknown areas as artists. And so I think all of that wrapped it together. Tom was game for this right from the beginning. He knew, you know, I think Tom saw it as a strong sign that if we believed that this role was right for him, that it, that, that there was something in it that was, that was right for him. And so he embraced the role very early on and with, with a lot of excitement, a lot of passion, and, and, it, and a lot of seriousness. You know, he, he took it very seriously. He worked extremely hard. And I, you know, I think in a lot of ways, the role was intimidating for him because he doesn't have this sort of life experience that, that, that this, this character does, having gone to war, being lost in the dr uh, depths of dr uh, drug addiction. But Tom really did the work to figure out what that means on the most intimate level to him as a person and how to translate it to the screen. And he, he just blew us all away. Boy, did he. I mean, that, that is an understatement, blew us away. I mean, him, him and Sierra just absolutely crushed his thing. You ride this fine line of balance in between humor and this almost ethereal score dealing with these dark topics. Was that difficult balancing all that stuff? It, it is difficult. I think that, you know, one thing that um, isn't talked enough about, I think in film schools and about directing in general is that tone is the most important part of a film. It's also, you know, the easiest way to fail is if you you misfire on the tone. This has a complex tone. It's where Anthony and I thrive on shows like Arrested Development or Community. We love complicated tones. Um, we like being mad scientists and mixing together genres and humor with uh, dark humor with drama and, and shaking it all up to see what you come up with. And you have to manage that from the first word of the script to the last edit in the edit room 
And that's part of the, the you know, challenge of it and part of what excites us as filmmakers. Yeah, I got to tell you, I, I'm infatuated with film and this is really a delight to watch this thing. Your emotions are struck in so many different directions so constantly. I absolutely loved it. Now, you guys are working on an upcoming film, The Gray Man, with, with Gosling and Anna de Armas and Captain America himself, Chris Evans. So do we, is this what we get from the Russo brothers now? A little, a little more Marvel superheroes in non-Marvel movies? Joe and I, throughout our careers, look, we started off as like very low budget, experimental indie filmmakers. You know, that segued into television with drama and comedy and uh, big movies then after that. Like we shoot commercials. We love the entire variety and the entire range of what you can do as, as, a, as a storyteller, as a filmmaker. So we'll constantly, I think, throughout our careers, keep pushing ourselves into new directions. But certainly with The Gray Man, we're going to be exploring a genre, the spy genre, which has been a favorite of ours throughout our lives. And we're doing it, yes, we're doing it with some actors that we do incredibly admire, both ones that we have never worked with before and, and really fortunately in Chris Evans, some that we have worked with before. So it's a really exciting movie for us. It's in, a, if you're a fan of uh, Captain America, the Winter Soldier, which had elements of this genre in it, this is us going uh, full bore in The Gray Man.